interrupts me so then I quit trying to introduce him so then I leave a gap so he can just carry on and crickets anyway it's cheese of the week which means it's Thursday and what is cheese of the week we get to try all kinds of new fancy weird cheeses that we find all over the place that you hunt down like a secret agent cheese Gathering person, double O queso. Why? So that we can introduce keto people to new cheese other than just cheddar and mozzarella. Why? So that they can broaden their cheese horizons and have more interesting meals. There it is. So today we have something that we need none of this for. We don't need any of this. All our cool cheese knives that we have now don't need any. Um, and that banging around you just heard was Mr. McHenry having a resurgence of his kittenhood. Okay, so today we have went on a road trip to somewhere. Massachusetts, possibly... I don't remember. I'm going to start writing this stuff down. I really can't remember um, where we found this, but we found... The, actually, I think this was Rhode Island. No? No, it wasn't. It was Connecticut. I remember now. It was Whole Foods Market. No. No, it wasn't. It was Cost Plus World Market. Yeah, it was Cost Plus World Market. So, there's a good chance that wherever you are in the US, if you have a Cost Plus World Market, you will actually be able to find these really easily. So, they are made by Glacier Ridge Farms, and they're spreadable cheese. And I remember reading the ingredients back, way back when, and thinking, oh, this is really clean and lovely, but the type is so small I can't read it. Um, and this one is cheddar and bacon. So you, if you, if you have a Cost Plus World Market near you, you can probably get these. And I thought these sounded delicious. So this one is cheddar and bacon, but actually it's Gouda. Sorry for the Americans here, Gouda. It's Gouda. Is it Gouda? Cheddar and Montreal Jack cheese. Water, milk, fat, sodium phosphate, cream, whey, bacon, um, da, 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 smoke flavouring, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, it sounds yummy to me. And actually, Glacier Ridge Farms are in the Blue Mounds, Wisconsin. Is that what WI stands for? Mm -hmm. Wisconsin. Okay. So, and because it's spreadable, we have something to spread it on, which is Fox Hill Kitchens gluten-free and keto croutons, which are absolutely the crunchiest, most fabulous things. So we are going to spread... We may have a cameo. A cat meal. Also, they're microwavable, but I wouldn't microwave it in the plastic. But if you wanted to, like a hot cheese kind of fondue thing, you can microwave. Pea, basket. That was pea. AKA Pista. Um, P. Basket. Um, I'm not sure this is going to work at all. We have Buster incoming from the left. We have P incoming from the right. Okay, if you're a cat, you need to get in a basket. Basket or down. Okay, so. I was getting in the basket. Are you a cat? 
No, you're nowhere near as well behaved as my cats. Okay, so Fox Hill Kitchens croutons. And we will link below because there is a 15% discount if you buy these using the magic link and code below. So we're going to spread our lovely Glacier Ridge Farm spreadable cheese on the croutons. Which one do you want to try first? First, bleh, first smoked gouda or cheddar and bacon? Uh, let's go with the smoked gouda. Okay. And we're not going to heat this up in the microwave in plastic. Good thinking, Batman. I try. Not Catman, Batman. Catman was Batman's villain. One of them. I can sense this is going to be a long day. Ooh, why would you need to microwave it? Look at that, that's delicious. Oh, that's wanted, lovely. If you wanted to do like a fondue type thing. Lost a crouton. I did. It kamikaze it into the dip. You know what would be awesome with this? Julie's breadsticks. Well, that's delicious. It really does have a smoky flavor to it. Like the smoke is the first thing it hits you, and then it kind of you get the taste of the cheese right afterwards, but it is very smoky, it's very delicious. I don't know about you, Yogi Parker, hmm. but oh, <laughs> I could literally sit here with this bag of croutons and this bucket of spreadable cheese and just... You know, if you really... Hey. If you really wanted to have some... Uh, pretty awesome keto nachos with a smoky flavor to them and maybe with like some pulled pork. Heat this up and do some nachos with some pulled pork with uh, some pork rinds for, for your tortilla chips and pour this hot cheese all over it. I could, as I was saying before the pista interrupted me, I can sit on the couch with this and this. And just go to town? Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Okay. We, well, we love that. Glacier Ridge. Glacier Ridge smoked gouda. Spread all cheese from your neighborhood friendly plus plus world market. We may be having another cat meal. This time from Ermzilla. Um, she wants her canoe. Okay, this one is the cheddar and bacon. You hold the, the thing, otherwise I'm just gonna all I'm right. gonna get it all over you anyway. But it'll be easier than trying to transfer it. Alrighty, sounds good. This is actually a lot smaller. This is less than half the size. Although, if you look at them together in the store, they kind of feel like the same size, but this is actually, this is eight ounces, this is three and a half ounces. They're both good, but I like the smoked Gouda better. Whoop. I lost oh. it every time. All right. So, Julie sells these uh, bread mixes, and on there she has instructions on how to do like breadsticks and pretzels, crispy pretzels and things like that. And I can definitely see this, you do up the breadsticks or uh, some nice crispy pretzels and, and dip it in there and have, have some great... Uh, or herb type things while you're sitting and hanging out. Replace popcorn if you're on keto.
I would not sit. I have, I don't feel the urge to sit and like eat all of this. Yeah, this was better. So I don't even get bacon. No. Here, this was fabulous. This one, not so much. You know, it it was kind of cheese whizzy. Yeah, and it actually kind of looks cheese whizzy too. Um, so if you were doing a like kind of classic Philly cheesesteak type thing, that might be okay. Yeah, but mm, um, nuts about the smoked gouda, not so much about the cheddar and bacon. So there we go. That is your gourmet cost plus world market Glacier Farms, no, Glacier Rich Farms spreadable cheese cheese of the week. I'd seriously like to try that with the uh, barbecue nachos and pork rinds. You're welcome. Have a good one. See ya. See ya.